Hi, I'm Ashley Mazurik and part of the Czech faculty. Today you are going to learn about activation exercises. First of all, what's the point of doing an activation exercise? So important because I call it my insurance. So people, yourself, clients that have uh, maybe taken a little bit of a luxury the night before and had a glass of wine, something that potentially uh, could cause disruption to your stabilization system, uh, inflame your organs and then allow for your strength to not be as much as it used to be, uh, then an activation exercise is jump starts the stabilization so that you can do your physiological loaded exercise after that. So let's talk about program designing an activation exercise. It is typically done before a physiological exercise or let's just be more specific, a complex exercise. What's a complex exercise? An exercise that works in all three planes that is externally loaded and would potentially be a phase three exercise. So it, it could be, for example, a wood chop. It can be an integrated single arm push. It could be an integrated single arm pull. It could be any of those exercises that really, really needs your stabilization strong to support all that and not lead to distortion or compensation within the body. So um, how you would put that in a program, if you were to do it for yourself or another, is you would list the activation exercise, whatever it may be, and then it would be one repetition for however many sets you feel like you need it. If you've got, um, say, a walking lunge as your second exercise and you're gonna do it four times and you feel like you really need the stabilization to make sure you're doing this correctly, then I would do the activation four times. And the time under tension for the activation exercise to not fatigue the stabilization system before you go into this externally loaded physiological exercise only needs to be 30 seconds time under tension. And there is no rest. That is the point of an activation exercise. It is goes right into the next exercise because you've charged up all your stabilizers and it's ready for that walking lunge. Okay, so the point of this video is to show you some really cool activation exercises, at least I think. Let me just remind, just in case you don't know, that the Swiss ball is appropriate for you. And sometimes we don't, some people don't know this, but I know this Swiss ball is a good ball for me for this exercise because I have 90 degrees from the hip joint and 90 degrees from the knee joint. If the ball were too big, then those angles would be less. All right, so this is a great ball for me. Now, I'm going to take the Swiss ball and my first activation exercise I call TikToks. And so what you would do is you would start in kneeling and then you would go from kneeling or on, uh, essentially four point into kneeling. So you're on your knees and TikTok is, is just like it is. TikTok, you would go side to side with on, in your ball for about 30 seconds. And you could play around this and get pretty aggressive. You could put, you know, two five pound weights in your hands, any of that, that's fine. And then uh, another one is, I call it Superman. And it's, this exercise is really good for people who have a hard time with rigidity and needing to relax and finding their center. So. I always encourage them to do this exercise where basically go prone on the ball and eventually you go horizontal with your extremities to the floor. As you can see, the ball is punched right into your abdominal. So it really forces you to breathe diaphragmatically under load and challenge. So for instance, for me, what I tell clients, this is also helping in times of stress. When you're on the ball, basically you're, 
your body thinks if it falls, it's going to die. So it, this is stressful to the body. So it's doing whatever it can to balance itself. And so with the breathing mechanism, it's stress, but you're training your body to breathe under stress so that when you're in your daily environment, under stressful situations, you can still maintain that diaphragmatic breath. So once again, we always say as check practitioners, make sure you're training your clients in the gym to better them in their daily life and what they um, encounter. I have another activation exercise that you can take advantage of. And it's, it's called, for me, it's called around the world. So, arms are up always, palms facing the front to create external rotation. And this helps incorporate good posture. Obviously the ball uh, allows you to maintain your alignment. Otherwise, if you didn't, you'd fall off. And so you just kind of go around the world, massaging all these joints, working all these planes of motion within stability. And you do that, like I was saying, for about 30 seconds, time under tension. Remember, I said before that you can program design these at the beginning of your program, but there are times where if you need later on in your third or second exercise or fourth exercise, where you're worried about the stability, put the activation exercise before it and just continue to, every, every set you do, continue to put it for it so that you have your stabilization. These particular exercises are, can be very challenging. So I want to just remind you really quick, if you've got somebody that's never been on a Swiss ball or you've never been on a Swiss ball and you're like, how in the heck am I going to even do that? It is, it's, it looks harder than it is. But let me show you a transition exercise, which can also be a stabilizer exercise as well. And that is, but before you can actually get to that whole kneeling on the Swiss ball, I often recognize, recognize, I often, I don't recognize, oftentimes I'll tell people to start with four point. And sometimes that's even difficult. So you can start with four point rocks. And just for the beginner who's never been on a Swiss ball, doing this for 30 seconds is challenging and turning on their stabilizers. And eventually, very quickly, I promise you, eventually you'll get to the point where just holding that four point is easy and doable. And then put your toes on the ball and then slowly come up into kneeling, or I will call it two point, and then maintain that, working all the planes side to side, front and back. And then you can move in to those other three activation exercises that I described. Thanks for listening. Hope you enjoy these activation exercises and that you benefit. Um... Yes. Okay. Thanks for taking the time to listen to my activation exercises. They are extremely important to creating insurance in your program that so you don't get hurt. And um, I appreciate it and we'll see you next time.